Hello everyone. Simon Ekba reviews what Biafran's chief of staff discussed about Biafra before world leaders during the 2024 peace summit. Nigerians, this will shock you. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for not stopping by. If you're just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Simon Ekba, the Prime Minister of Biafra, recently reviewed that the Biafra Chief of Staff and Biafra Government Delegation had a significant presence at the World Peace Summit 2024. In a post on his verified ex handle Simon Ekba shared that the delegation participated in a high-level meeting where Biafra were the central topic of discussion. So he also highlighted the positive interaction with a delegate from Saudi Arabia. This development comes at a crucial time for the Biafra independence movement. Ekba, a Finnish politician and Biafra activist, has been at the forefront of advo advocating for Biafran rights and independence as a leader of the Biafra Republic government in Ezai Bridge. Simon Ekba has been working tirelessly to promote the Biafra cause globally. The World Peace Summit 2024 provides a platform for international leaders to engage in dialogue and find solutions to pressing global issues. The participation of the Biafra government delegation and the discussion around Biafra's independence signify a growing recognition of the movement's legitimacy. Simon Ekbar's efforts have not gone unnoticed. In May 2023, he was awarded the title of Ambassador for Peace by the Universal Peace Federation at the African Day celebration in Finland. This recognition underscores Iqbal's commitment to peaceful resolution and dialogue. However, Simon Ekpa's activism has also faced criticism and controversy. The Nigerian government has accused him of terrorism, kidnapping, and other crimes, and has called for his extradition from Finland. Despite these challenges, Ekpa remains resolute in his pursuit of Biafra independence. The Biafra, uh, the, the Biafra independence movement has gained momentum in recent years. The ongoing self-determination. Uh, self Referendum regarding the sovereignty of Biafra has seen over four, 49 million Biafrans participate a development recognized by the Organization of Emerging African States, OEEX, as a legitimate pursuit of self-determination. The road ahead, however, remains challenging. The Nigerian government opposition and accusation against Simon Ekba pose significant obstacles to the movement. Nevertheless, Ekba's determination and growing international support for the Biafran cause, ensure that the movement will continue to push forward. In the past words, the Biafran Chief of Staff and Biafra Government Delegation to the World Peace Summit 2024 has just participated in a high-level meeting where Biafra was the topic of discussion. A very wonderful delegate from Saudi Arabia the okay uh, that is simon Eba. meanwhile in another developing news a correlation of 67 civil society organization has raised alarm over what they described as an increasing calm down on nigerian civic space by president bola tinubu's administration the group have expressed deep concern over the use of security agencies to harass, to intimidate, and suppress labor unions, activists, and civil society groups, which they view as a dangerous threat to Nigerians' democracy. 
The CSOs, in a joint statement obtained on Thursday, highlighted the worsened condition under which journalists and activists operate. They condemn the government actions, calling for the immediate release of individuals involved in the end bad governance protest and the withdrawal of treason charges against them. Among their demands were the end of the harassment of Joa Jaro, the president of the Nigerian Labour Congress, NLC, and Omoel Shuwari, a prominent human rights activist and leader of the revolutionary movement. This disturbing trend of repression is not only troubling, but pose a significant threat to Nigerian's democracy. It seems like a deliberate effort by the Tinubu administration to silence opposition and control growing public dissatisfaction with the government, the statement said. So guys, uh, what's your take on this? Uh, the parties is the part of Nigerian government or uh, uh, this correlation that calling President Bola Tinubu to do something. You know, they said the country is gradually collapsing and the way he harassed Nigerians, the protesters, the activists, activists and all that. It's just like just like the President Bola Maitinubu government wants to pocket everybody. Nobody talks whatever I like I do. And this is really bad. I did drop on for here, my people. How now see this matter? Simon Ekba uh, 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 talking about uh, Biafra independence and all that. So please subscribe to this channel. If you have not, share this video. Let it go viral. Let Nigerians understand what is happening today in the Nigerian political landscape. Thank you and bye for now.